Welcome to the EMBN show from Chatel. We have the great pleasure of being joined by Cannondale's factory... Daddy. Daddy, Josh... <laughs> <laughs> Josh Bryson, fresh, well, or maybe not so fresh, off doing his first ever e Indira World Cup. Uh, and on today's show, we're also going to be taking a close look at the new Pole Voima. Josh, who'd have thought today, e-bike World Cup? Um, yeah, it, I don't feel worthy of the credibility of doing a World Cup, to be honest. I've just had a nice day on a bike around the mountains. Is that actually how it was? Well, it was for me. I wasn't like... Blanky gave me... I think he threw me a bit of a curveball. I think he was maybe worried, which he shouldn't have been. But he said to me, do not pedal above the motor, wait for the motor to kick in and just yeah, let that yeah, do yeah. the work. Yeah. Anyway, it was about 30 seconds on the first stage of just fire road. So I just popped my dropper and waited for the motor. <laughs> I finished the stage ready to go again. And everyone was saying, oh, it was so physical. So I think maybe I dropped the ball a little bit. Uh, anyhow, Josh actually had a, a catch up around the pits earlier with some of the riders. I think it might be appropriate to uh, hand over the... Uh, stay there, Josh Carlson. I think it might be appropriate to hand Josh Bryceland the mic to maybe have a chat with Josh Carlson, who's now going to be here, instead of... Yeah, no, he's doing him. well. He's, he's beat me to it, hasn't he? Fantastic career, mate. Fantastic career. Thanks, mate. Are you going to miss it? Definitely going to miss it. We, it's not... Uh, the racing's not over just yet. We're still, still working on those details, but, you know, for a... You know yourself, you've been with a brand for a long time and to be with a brand like Giant for 12 years and we were there, there at the beginning of EWS and the beginning of Enduro in North America and now the beginning of e-bikes in the EWS in 2020, one, two, and now three, the, the very first Enduro World Cup series. It's a tough, uh, it's a tough emotional scenario. It's yeah. hard to walk away from and, and um, the next chapter is bright and there is a lot of microphones in my future and I think the smart, that's, that's definitely where I'm heading and it's probably the the business side of things, but the the, uh, the fuel to race is still there. Florencia Espanera. Yes. Congratulations on being the first ever e-bike World Cup champion. Thanks. Um, I don't know. I need a little bit of time to settle it down. I just finished the race super tight with Tracy. Uh, I was lucky to take the win by 0 0.04 seconds. That's like nothing but yeah so the winner today and the winner in the series i mean what was it what's the what's it feel like to 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 balance the aggression on all all those stages 10 stages actually it's a very good question because i feel that today i i wanted to win so bad and i pushed hard and it was hard for me to pace myself i did a lot of mistakes during the stages because i was trying to go fast and uh, just, uh, I think the things were the other way around because the harder I push, like the more mistakes I did. You're a mad frother for bicycles. Tell us what you enjoyed so much. I am a mad frother and just riding my bike down these mountains with energy to do so. When I arrived at the start, it was just such a blessing. Like the last time I raced in EWS, I was so cross-eyed when I was riding down that I had a massive crash, and like that was that. So, yeah, it's a different dynamic for me. The lazy Enduro, I'm absolutely into it. But we still had 10 stages and it was brutal, it was technical, it was the stages we had here in the bike park were wildly fast. I mean, it was such a varied mix of terrain. I'm getting back into presenter mode here, Jonesy, but... Yeah, I think the pace I was riding at was debatable, like wild and fierce, but you know, it was fun. <laughs> 25 years ago to the day, you were the world's junior downhill champion in Ore. A couple, yeah. maybe 20 years yeah, ago. Not saying that. Not saying that. Yeah. A couple of years ago, you, uh, sorry, 25 years ago, yeah. 20 years ago, you were winning elite World Cup downhill racing. Yeah. 10 years ago, you were the first winner of a EWS race in Punta Alla in Italy. And here we are, 10 years on from that, yeah. and you're now the World Cup e-bike champion how does it feel <laughs> it feels it, i I'm, I'm honest with you i'm really happy 
I'm super proud because, uh, as I was about to say, uh, I won uh, almost everything in my career in enduro and in downhill, and um, and I never won a World Cup overall because, as I said earlier, I never been able to cut myself from being on fire. And uh, I had a few couple calls today where I almost did the same and managed to do the finish and, and winning a World Cup overall on a mountain bike and only bike with a bike I developed that's got my name is a, is a huge satisfaction for me. And uh, I'm I'm just super proud and really enjoyed the day. Wow, some big news there from the E Enduro World Cup. Uh, earlier in the week, though, we had look we had look at one of those bikes ridden by the racers with the Pole guys on the Voima. Now we're just wrapping things up here at Chatel, and I've always wanted to uh, do a check of the Pole Voima bike. This is Oni Rainio's bike from Finland, teammate to Lee Johnson. Now Lee Johnson's grandfather taught me French, and I was best mates with Lee's dad. Anyway, I digress. Uh, the Voima. Interesting, interesting bike. Not just the beautiful finish of it, it's a CNC. The process is they CNC the insides and then it's bonded together within 0.001 or 0.01, I think, of, of a mil uh, tolerance. And then it's put together and it's CNC'd on the outside as well. I think you have to agree, possibly one of the most stunning looking e-mounted bikes on the market. Um, Righty, lots to talk about. Um, this is Oni's bike. Now, Oni's bike runs 170 mil front and 170 mil rear. Although the bike can actually be 190, 190 for those big, big hits. I think Lee Johnson's actually on a 184 front, but we won't go into that. This particular bike, now Oni, I think is, he's 21 years old. He's not, he's not massive, he's not super tall uh, compared to Lee. So he's running a K1 bike. Now the Poly bikes come in uh, K0, K1, K2, K3. 450 mil reach on this bike. This runs 29 inch wheel front, 27.5 on the rear, which lowers the bottom bracket by 10 mil. Remember on the 29 inch wheel bike, it's zero mil drop on the BB. Um, numbers, some interesting numbers on this bike. It's a proper bike made for EMTB racing. 63 degree head angle, 1260 mil wheelbase, so a, a good length on this bike, even though it's a K, K1 bike. 455 mil chainstay, so there's a good balance point in the bike and an 80 degree c tube angle. So really good central position when you're climbing on the bike. In terms of the fine detail, Arnie has got uh, D-Max aluminium wheels on the bike, uh, shod with Asagai up front, uh, Minion DHR on the back, both DH casing. Folks, I want to give you this little interesting uh, bit of information. So if you see here, this is actually the speed sensor. On many bikes, the speed sensor is mounted to the disc, so no unnecessary uh, cables with this setup. So this is actually within, I think it's within 155 mil of the motor. Uh, the motor on this bike is the Bosch CX motor. Uh, on this occasion, we've got a 750 watt hour battery, but the team have actually got them, so you can run a 625 on there as well. Uh, big hills here in Chatel, so arnie has got two 20 mil discs, front and rear, uh, and 160 mil cranks, the uh, SRAM T-type uh, shifting on the bike. Uh, and I think you'll have to agree, it's possibly, look, I mean, look at it, look at it. Absolutely stunning. Uh, thanks to the Poly guys for letting us have a quick look around the bike. Time now to look at some of the cool places that you guys have been riding in in the past few weeks. Actually, talk about cool places. Where's the, where's the coolest place you've ridden in your life? Well, that is a big question, Steve. It is, isn't it, really? Yeah, you're putting me on the spot there, mate. I mean, is it... As, it, as a it, professional mountain biker, I've been spoiled, haven't I? Mm, you and kind is of that, have. Is that trails or culture, what we're talking about? <laughs> Clearly, this is a, that's a big discussion maybe we should go into. Uh, but here is a shot from uh, Peter, who's down in Swinley Forest. Oh, yeah. Swinley? Oh, yeah. Never so in, really, but it looks fantastic. It does, doesn't it? I bought it with this one then, Josh. Uh, this next one is from Davos. Gerhard in Davos. Can yeah, you see that? Yeah, that looks good. Bit of a Husqvarna action that there. Was, yeah, yeah. On the rocks, bit of hard enduro. Davos. Did you, Lovely. Davos, not far from, did you remember, did you ride in Lavinia? I have ridden in Lavinia, yeah, it's fantastic. Yeah, it's pretty I out the way, it isn't it? It's pretty out the way. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, we've got more shots here, actually. Um, next up, we have got... Mm. So this is Leonard. Where did you see Leonard? Oh, Leonard's a place. Is it? Or, or is Leonard? Wine or is Leonard. Or is it Leonard? Is it from Leonard? I don't know. But, well, um, Leonard, you're looking very tropical. It is, it is looking very tropical. Look at that there. 
Well, is there any, any white sand in the uh, Peak District? Maybe. Probably, no, in, the, probably, not in, the really. bunk, probably in the bunkers of the golf courses, right? Yeah, that's about it. Do you live in sure. Cheshire? I am Cheshire. <laughs> from the Shire, mate. Are you from the Shire? Yeah, I'm from Cheshire. Oh. We're, we're, right, we're right near Free Shires, which is the, the trials location, Hawks Nest, which I think we should visit with Accrig because Ooh. we've got Derbyshire, <laughs> Staffordshire and Cheshire and it is gritty and it's real. Yeah. Well, that's another story. Accrig, Accrig on Hawks Nest. Yeah. Be very special, wouldn't yeah, it? Yeah, it would. Actually, we've got a trials question in a, in a bit. Uh, next up, we've got uh, Laura. Uh, and a white E160 MX in New Zealand. And then, uh, closing things off, we've got Robert in Mount St. Ursula, Slovenia. Oh, you had a bad Hi. crash in Slovenia, do you remember? Yeah, I did. <laughs> I was telling someone about this the other day, shall I go into it? Go on then. So I had a massive... This is a World Cup, this is a World Cup down in Slovenia. My second year of World Cup racing, my first year at Slovenia at the final, I qualified fifth and finished ninth as a junior. <laughs> So then I was fired up, came into it the year after. Huge overbars in the rock section. I mean, this rock section is insane. It's yeah. like about 100 metres long. Yeah, it's ugly, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Overbars, big concussion. Got down to the finish area. As I got off my bike, <clears throat> because of a head trauma, I fainted. So they sent me to the hospital, and I was completely out of it. And I returned from the hospital with a cast from my ankle to my thigh. And, um, I, I remember you being, I, I remember, <laughs> there was nothing I remember the wrong hospital. with my leg. <laughs> <laughs> but I didn't know what was wrong because I banged my head. I was making no sense. And then I come home with a pot on my leg, <laughs> which was sweet. And I forgot I'd hit my head. A couple of comments from you guys over the past few videos. This is in relation to the giant video uh, that Rich did out in the hills. Is it a 2022 model? I'm looking at the same bike, but can only find the really dark blue one in 2023. There's actually two versions of that bike that Rich rode, and it's actually, well, it's probably a 2024 version. Actually, Rich said it was 4,000 pounds. It's actually 3,750. Uh, check out the other giant video, which we did up in uh, Northwest Scotland on, on the other giant stance bike. Uh, and then Josh, this is a question here, right? Uh, from G Car. His question is, can you get any geometry for an EMTV dedicated to trials? <laughs> Wow. I'd nev I've never had this question before. Well, um, well interestingly, we did you, do a little bike swap when we were in Lady Bower riding not long ago, just to feel each other's setups, nothing more, nothing To feel less. each other's setups? You know, <laughs> what you're working with, brother. And um, turns out, <laughs> turns out that the setup I'd come fresh off the Fest series with. Yeah, yeah was completely the opposite. And he actually inspired me to soften my forks up. Mm -hmm. And um, I think coming from downhill, it's easy to try and keep your front end high by just over airing your front forks. But he had it very, very soft mm -hmm. and supple mm -hmm. and um, a low front end. So right. when you're going up, you, your hands are nice and low, your you weight's forward. Yeah. And you can... You've ridden with Akrig, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean... Uh... It's absolutely mind-blowing. It is. I mean, so we're talking about geometry. Is there a specific geometry? But if, but if you go and check out the video we did with Chris a few years ago, if you see what he can do on an e-mountain bike, and you know the bike he was riding a few years ago was a, was a GT, he was lifting he was lifting this bike about this much off yeah. the ground, yeah. barely moving. It, yeah, I know. It's it's nuts, isn't it? It's it's very impressive, and it lures you into a false sense of security. When I was following <laughs> up the trail, he was doing stuff, and I thought, wicked, I'll just follow him up it. Yeah. And then humbled immediately. It's insane, isn't it? OK, Josh Bryson's got to go back to babysitting duties. He's got several more beers to drink. Uh, last part of the show is the bike fault. Josh, I'm interested to hear your comments on this. First of all, it's... Uh, you basically, it's a, it's a nice or a super nice. Okay. So, first of all, Neil, white E160 29er. Nice or super nice, Josh? Super nice, I like this. Right. Yeah. Well, you like the, what is that, actually? I don't know. Well, it's a bit satanic, maybe it's just a nice. <laughs> <laughs> Next up, Robert, Enduro high bike in Essex and a gate. Is that looking autumnal already? Are we going to return to leaves on the ground? <laughs> yeah, probably. I'm staying out, yeah. I think it's a nice shot. I'm not sure about the gate. Uh, and then a giant trance advanced in Moses Creek, Florida. Wow, looks flat it's quite out cool, there, right, isn't it? Yeah. What do you reckon? Could be super nice, isn't it? It's like he needs a paddle tire getting that bog, doesn't he? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's super nice. 
Uh, next up, we got Paul and the track. Oh, Can right, you see trees. that? That's I, nice, I love isn't them. it? This is in, this right, in right, Fernie. Right, have you been to Fernie, British Columbia? No, I haven't. Must have been. Nice. Go on, Josh. What you got? Yeah, that was super nice. Super I love nice. trees. You love trees. Well, Bea, this is in Men of the Grieg, overlooking Cumvelin Vach. Do you know Abakan? Yeah. It's near there. Nice. It's got to be nice. Valleys. Valleys, see? Can you I talk? Like it. Can, you, can you talk? Give us, give us a Welsh accent. Men of D. Men of D. It is super nice. Uh, and then next up, Lee Corey Lancashire. Danny On Lee a Corey. white. That yeah. has got to be some Akrig inspiration. Do you know what? I'm seeing a lot of whites, I feel like. You think Akrig's inspiring for people to go on the whites? Absolutely. Why wouldn't you? Like, exactly. That guy. Uh, Candy Matera, Rui, this is like in it. Portugal. Yes, Rui. Super Braga. nice. Braga, Braga, Portugal. I've just been there. <laughs> I love Portugal. <laughs> Cannondale's rule. This is good. Can you see, Super nice. Can you see yourself living in Portugal one day? For winters, definitely. Yeah. Uh, Port Island Beach in uh, in the Gower. This is Duncan, high bike. Love the EMBN there, Duncan. That's yeah, got to be a super nice. Uh, and then wrapping back, up yeah. the bike vault. Uh, is another white actually quite a few. Back to the beginning, we see him. This one's friendly. This is back to the beginning. We had yeah, this bike. Good. We had this as a location earlier in the video. Lovely. Well so back done. to the start. Josh, thanks so much for joining us. See, it's been a pleasure. Uh, looking forward to seeing you on uh, the e Indira World Cup in uh, 2024. Folks, let's know what your thoughts are on that Paul Voimer. We'll see you next week.